I see myself as a designer rather than an artist. It's not just about what it looks like, it's about well, how does, how does that work, how does that come together, and can there be something interesting and beautiful about that. I think my grandmother had a lot to do with me getting into fashion design. She was always knitting and she did a lot of embroidery. There was always some kind of craft going on at the kitchen table. When I honed in on what I really wanted to do, I decided on fashion design. I designed kids' clothes for about 20 years and then I started a family. You kind of have this turning point and you think, how can I make this work with my family now? I started doing some of my own crafting and eventually started my blog. I wrote my first book, Warm Fuzzies. I was contacted by the Martha Stewart Show. It was just really a great time. I had a lot of ideas and a good response. But as much as I really liked making all those things, the repetition started getting to me. I always want to come up with a new idea. I love the cupcake pin cushion, but I was kind of getting burned out on it. Even, even some of the other things that I was making, I just you know, wanted to design something and then design something else. Then I started my sewing pattern line, and that is really um, where my focus is now. What I love about design is that I think of it as creative problem solving. I just really love getting in there and figuring out how something is made and maybe a better way to make it, to really turn it inside out and see what the parts are and, and how it comes together and can I put it together in a different way and, or a better way. It's just obsessive and I can't stop thinking about it and I flip it around in my head and I'm making breakfast for the boys. I grab a sticky note off the microwave and I do a little doodle. It just comes to me like, oh, maybe this will work. And then as soon as they leave for school, I'm like up to my office and <laughs> working up a new prototype. And, and sometimes it's something and sometimes it's not. But I love those moments of not really pounding away at it, like in the shower or on a walk where, you know, your mind just sort of opens up and then the answers come to you. That's the part that I really like.